the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, but then, here, look, the pattern has been all the way back in Genesis. You had the, the serpent interject himself between the direction, direct directions given to Adam and Eve. But let's say, we'll, you know, just because some people may argue, it means he gave, Adam was given directions. And then with, oh, oh, no, you just, I just thought about that. Let's just say that Adam told, told Eve what God said. But then again, Eve did say, God said, thou yeah. shalt not eat of the tree. But let's, let's take possibility that God didn't, because the scripture didn't say he told Eve, he told Adam, right? Of all the trees you may eat, suffer this one. <laughs> What did Adam blame? Who did Adam blame for himself eating that fruit? He blamed me. He blamed me. He said it, didn't he? Yeah. This woman that you gave me yeah. gave it to me, and I did eat. Now, that, so that, that to, so which means is, he, at least he's saying. He spoke the truth, <laughs> but, but in the, there, there's other implications in there. You know, there, there's a spiritual level to that as well. Yeah. In other words, there was he spoke the truth. You did give her to me. But the fact is, I gave you truth, right? Yeah. Uh, I gave you truth. Yeah. And you went against my truth. Yeah. My commandment. Yeah, because nothing happened when she ate. You know, and, and to be honest, I truly believe that it was Adam uh -huh. that gave her the word of God. I, think I so. truly okay. believe it because she said, don't even touch it. Even touch <laughs> and I can just imagine Adam saying, look, you can't eat from it. Matter of fact, don't even touch this tree. Touch exactly. Because exactly. it didn't say you couldn't touch it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, was that truth? See, in other words, he says some parts of it were truth. Uh -huh. And then there's some gravy added to it. And that gravy probably was a mistake for her because once she touched it and nothing happened. Yeah. She's like, oh, well, maybe the rest of it. Maybe, maybe whatever you said is, is, is the truth. But look, pattern number two, Moses, the children of Israel on the Mount Sinai. You, you remember when, when Moses brought the children of Israel, prepared them for the encounter with God, and God spoke. You know, yeah. it wasn't, wasn't just a tablet. Some people don't understand that. Those tablets uh, is was irrelevant to the fact that he told them himself. Yeah. These, these 10 basic commandments. And what did they do? What did they do? You remember what they, you remember that, right? And they, they drew back far. No, not drew. But they drew far <laughs> back. <laughs> and say, "Hey, man, I think you need to go <laughs> and talk on behalf of it." Now, yeah. now they want him. Yeah. Now they want him as an embassy. They didn't want him before. Exactly. Exactly. Now they want him as that. That that's that's just the nature of man. Well, you know, the, the, and, and we've seen that pattern many times where people sit there and say, uh, you pray for me, you know. Instead of saying pray in agreement with me, you, you pray for me. In other words, you, you got the connection to God. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 and then it, I think that's a, that's a probably a lesson learned to anybody that listens to this is you ask people to pray in agreement, and if somebody, let's say, any believer out there, if that ever come up and say it from they say it from that perspective, you need to say, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be the intermediary between you and God. But what I'll do is I'll be in agreement with you. Matter of fact, I think you said sometimes you said, let's pray right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I ask them, well, what do you want? Yeah. yeah. And then I do a prayer of agreement. Father, this, this, this brother or this sister has this desire, yeah. you know, of you. Yeah. And I'm yeah. in agreement. I'm applying my faith according yeah. to your word that yeah. it shall be so in their life as long Come as on. they believe your Come word. Exactly. So from this point over, I believe it is done. Yeah. In Jesus name. And that's Amen. the end of my prayer. I mean, I don't need to go through Genesis to Revelation, <laughs> you know, quote, quoting scriptures, you know, and or even trying to get this person saved again who's already saved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But we tend to think that we got to go through a whole bunch of group of of scriptures to that has nothing to do with the situation and the circumstance. And even if there's a specific scripture uh -huh. that covers that, I will say that according to this yeah. in your word, yeah, we are standing on this in belief. And I join my faith to this person that it is so. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for what yeah. you've already done. Come on, in, man. Us, in Jesus' name. In Jesus and name. boom, I'm done. I ain't got to sit there and tarry over nothing. Uh-uh. And I think I think the and I think the key point is being let the person know people, all of anybody maybe listen or will listen to this. It's a direct relationship. It's it's okay for the body, the believer, to have a prayer and agreement with you, but once you walk, you still got to make that word true for you. Yeah, you got to make that connection true for you. You got to even believe and receive the healing. The, the or whatever oh, you're yeah. asking God for, you have to believe that is coming from the Father to yeah. you through yeah. the Son and the Holy Spirit. And I think and, and I think the, the fear that most ministries have done. Uh, I remember I'm not gonna call the, the minister's name out because that person has evolved a lot since then. But have you heard about the uh, the word you have to have? Division, you're a division, right? Yeah. Division means two divisions, two visions uh, in a ministry. In other words, they're saying is that the pastor, he's supposed to be the one with the vision. And anytime you come in with another vision, then we have a division. And now then we got this discord. And what the, the person was trying to say, because I, I want to put a layer on top of that. Is saying is that we 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 get we have to go in the direction of one leader in a you know in a particular ministry, right? Uh -huh. And and what I want to throw at you is this: all visions, regardless of what you have, whatever ministries you have, it has to be tied into no. Other option is what God's vision is. Yeah. God's yeah. will is. You know, so there's no division as long as it's dealing with his will. Yeah, the kingdom of God. Yeah. You know, pressing the kingdom of God here on earth. You know, it's 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 amazing how people can find ways of staying in power. That's all uh -huh. that is. Yeah, because is. you can have a military regiment that does multiple things to achieve one goal. They all have different, there's different leaders on down mm -hmm. with the same common goal, but have different tactics to yeah. reach it. Yeah. So if God gives me something mm -hmm. to do, and I'm supposed to be in your ministry, then what, how is that affecting you? To where yeah. you got to put it down. Yeah. So, for instance, you're you're. This is this is something that actually happened. You're in a ministry, and you're 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 in a leadership position. You know, for of this ministry. Yeah. And God puts on your heart not to take away from these members, but to add to it by starting a marriage ministry. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yet the 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 overseer of this particular body has alt because now it's a competition. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. it's it's you're going to steal members. How do you steal members? Yeah. How do you steal something that's not yours? You know, how do you steal how, your body? I, it, man, 
come on. That's I, I can go on about this uh, in, in so many different ways. But the fact that this person who is committed to this other person gets a vision that's not outside of what this ministry should be doing, but is a part of. I remember, I remember a great man, a great man of God, forefather, who had folks he was over with. Mm -hmm. And there were so many different issues that this man ordained <laughs> folks to take on different areas and to handle them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and that was Moses. Was yeah, without this is the God. person who was who who who's in the presence of God. It's like, <laughs> look, it's too much. It's too much. Y'all go on and help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, that that's how and now more change when I was there. That's how they. Uh, that's how he did it. Is if someone came, if he if, if a department was developed, is that the person will come to him and say, "God gave me what you just said." Let's say wedding ministry. Yeah. We actually had a in, in the world changes, they possibly do have a wedding ministry. Uh meaning that that but he, the guy had to be the person that said, God gave me this vision that I want to do a, uh like to do a wedding ministry. And then he would say, Okay, because God gave you that vision, then I'll let you run with that department, yeah. put that together, do all the things that make it a quality department, and you will assign because we got a minister roster uh -huh. minister who will do and perform weddings, right? In other words, I'm not God didn't give me the vision for it, He gave you. Yeah. So if you are a minister, then you will be the one that's doing most of those weddings. Right? Yeah. And but but it's but it makes sense then, okay. It's like because we know that's his will for people to get married. Yeah. So so but it does take a lot of effort to to organize it, right? Yeah. The, the, the dealing with the couple, uh, dealing with the counseling, dealing with the arrangement of the facility for the wedding is is that per, you know just like the deacons were put together, right? Yeah. For the, for the apostles, like we don't have time to serve these tables, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so they say they had pray for God to get some people to do it. But I, I, that's what I'm saying. I've been seeing is that the the truth will it. Let's go back to Jesus and Pontius Pilate, and and how he knew that the, the those uh, Pharisees delivered Jesus up out of jealousy. Yeah, he knew it. He he said, he, "I find no fault with this man." Not for death. Not for death. He's that's why he said, I'll chat, I'll beat him. Obviously, y'all got an issue with him. Yeah, I can beat, beat anybody because that's that's what we do. We just beat people to subject our will. Yeah. For no reason at all, just because you in our way. And then we'll put you, then we'll put you up, uh, then we'll release them, right? Yeah. But that's not what the Pharisees and the Sadducees wanted. And look how he stirred, they stirred the people up. Because you remember how a lot of people sit there and say, how is it that he went into the city of Jerusalem and they were doing the palms, you know what they call the Palm Sunday, where they were saying Hosanna, Hosanna, yeah. crowds of people, <laughs> large number of people. And now and within that same period, they had crucify him. Crucify him. And Pontius Pilate said, What has he done? The only thing what he has done is not line up with the leadership <laughs> of that day. Here, here, here's, a, here's another one. And he had to just in case remind him, we're talking about the truth will make you free. And other thing, people try to come with their own truth. Why did I was reading uh, this week when Samuel was told by the children of Israel, give us a king. <laughs> Remember that? Say, said, give us a king. Yeah. And, 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 and Samuel got offended about it, but God said that, uh, no, they ain't rejecting you. They rejected me. Yeah. 
you know? And but I do want to put a caveat. I didn't catch this before. Did you did you catch the fact that you know why who you remember how Samuel became uh a prophet in Israel, right? You remember he was he was selected, his his mother gave him over to uh the church, the ministry. Mm -hmm. Eli. And if do you remember Eli, do you remember why Eli died and 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 um what how Samuel came about and what happened with Eli? Remember he had two sons. Well, I don't know, I was gonna ask you a question. He had two sons, right? Eli. Remember the ones that were helping yeah. the site offerings and stuff, and they were what you call hooligans, right? <laughs> they were they were doing bad things mm -hmm. in the church. Uh, and God chastised Eli for not taking control of that situation. <clears throat> did you did you know that that was the same thing about Samuel? Did I mean did you know that that's why they they said that they wanted a king? Mm -mm. They said that his son. I mean, I was read. I was just reading it right when they came to him. They said the children of Israel said the same thing about. Eli son, uh -huh. <clears throat> they said Samuel's sons were not walking in the way of Samuel. Uh -huh. uh, so they said, give us a king. Because you're old. They even, oh, look, this is what they even said. You're old. Yeah. Now, yeah. And your sons are not walking in your way. Yeah. Give us a king. You know, that they're <clears throat> you brought that up. Uh, you have these these local bodies, these pastors, you know, and they they get old in age, and, uh -huh. and so they're they're looking for a predecessor. Uh huh. They do. And oftentimes, you know, they'll choose a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but oftentimes that mm -hmm. child is not the one that God has chose. Yeah. For that yeah. local body. Yeah. You know. And and a lot of times these actual local bodies fall apart because uh, of that. Yeah. Uh, some of them fall apart because the people <clears throat> don't want to follow that person. Exactly. But it could be the person that God wanted. Exactly. And other times it's because it's not the person that God wanted, mm -hmm. and the person just makes it fall apart. And you know, and they 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 end up being corrupt, or they just don't have the ministry gift. Yes. Yeah. To, or, or they haven't been equipped to function mm -hmm. in that capacity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, you know, they're. He froze up a little bit. You should be back in a minute. He, so while, he, while he's coming back, I hope you he can hear me, but he froze up a little bit. But just, just make sure everybody catch up. We're talking about the truth will make you free. And the fact is that man's truth is not God's truth. Man's truth must either line up, if you got a church leader or government or, or uh, uh, ministry, yeah, he got kicked out. He'd come back. <laughs> it's, 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 the fact is that we need to make sure each individual, all of us, must understand that the truth is the word of God and our directions of life must line up with his truth. And what I've seen is that in most uh, jobs and uh, politics is the fact is that people try to make you deal with their truth. I saw you got cut off, and I'm glad you came back. <laughs> I, was, yeah, I, was, I don't know what happened. It just yeah. you froze, and I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna say nothing else." <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then you found out you got kicked out. It was you, but but we kept on talking at the same time. I didn't make sure everybody caught up what we we're getting to. Is the fact is that man's truth. In God's will. I think that's why he said, you know, that's why he taught them that prayer, wasn't it? The Lord, you know, we call it the Lord's Prayer. But uh -huh. that 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 was the prayer he gave. He said, Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Yeah. Thy kingdom come. Yeah. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Think about that. He he. You see, what I'm saying is, I thought that's 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 just a as we're talking about the truth to make you free. His will be done. Every vision of ministry gifts, every ministry gifts out there, every ministry out there, the whole purpose is to teach his will. Yeah. Come on, bro. Even when you're going to say he sent you to teach or preach the gospel. In other words, if, if every vision of every ministry should be that whole purpose of going in the direction of teaching and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, not political positions, not fleshy positions. And the reason I'm bringing this up, though, I was trying to say is that every saint, equipping every saint, even listening to this video, and like I said, that's those, those who, who will, is the fact is everything that you do must line up with his will. And anytime someone says something that's contrary to his will, you need to understand that is not the way. You know, when we talk about the, the and what I want to, what I'll tell you, man, I was sitting there, God was telling me, he might, he would kind of say is, maybe we need to get, maybe you need to make sure that you tie in. If you want to talk about the things of the day, this what's going on today in this world is to start off with comparing it with the truth, the word of God. And look at this. Yeah. What I'm saying is, well, we just did it. We did a scenario, a, a reference to a comparing. And we talked about it last week, too. What's going on today? What happened similar in the scriptures? And why is it important to stay with his will? Yeah, you. I mean, so so I'm saying is that we 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 did a brief summary, I, and I just in the future we'll just use the scriptures too. But I want people to see because it's important. Because we, I think you both realize that some people have not read the scriptures. Some people have not remember or recall things that happened in the scriptures. Like some of the stuff we just talked about with even Genesis. It, you know, you, you want to be able to say, okay, what, what, was the, what was the breakdown? How's that breakdown today? Meaning, what's, you know, what scenarios going on today that shows the disconnect of when people do something opposite of God's will, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you, you see it. Even with, we, we talked last week, we talked about, a week before last, Cain and Abel. Cain was doing what God had ordained them to do, dealing with sacrifice for their sin. Meaning without blood, there's no remission of sin. That, that was came back in Hebrews. Abel was doing the remission. He was doing the offerings. He was doing the sacrifice. And his was accepted. But Cain decided to do what? his way yeah. and and even confronted God about doing it his way yeah. and God told him son why are you angry if you do well will you not be accepted but if you do not well then sin lies at the door yeah and you're gonna have to master sin go ahead something that just came into my on my heart, put on my heart was there's nothing wrong with a first fruit offering. No, no. When wrong. the first fruit offering is in season. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. So there is and, and what brought to my mind this was there is a time when Cain's offering is acceptable to God. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't at that time. Uh -huh. So you have to be in season. You uh -huh. have to fulfill God's will for yeah. it to be accepted. Uh -huh. Some things we do are not according to his will at that time. Mm -hmm. So it is not accepted. It is rejected. 
Yeah. But what we need to figure out is, okay, it's rejected because it's not the fullness of time for this particular uh, thing that God wants. But what is? Yeah. Yeah. You know, at that time, it was a blood sacrifice. It, it was. That's what the time was it for. Was, it was and that's what the purpose for that offering was. Right. It was and so out. when there was no blood, mm -hmm. then it was rejected. Mm -hmm. When there was, I mean, even when there's blood, it could still be rejected because it's not done according to his will, which was yeah. a spotless. And I mean, that's the whole purpose of uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Malachi, Malachi yeah, <laughs> you know, where, yeah. where, you know, how do they rob me? Two ties and I no, it ain't money he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> it had nothing to do with that. And he was yeah. talking to the priest. Exactly. Exactly. But, Did you it? know, but it's been switched and changed around. But anyway, that's just a whole yeah, nother. But, but, but that's, I think that's a point, like I said, is because Jesus now has paid that that for the yes. offering. All those things were foreshadowed. Yes. But but what, what was interesting was that when somebody wants to do it, and that ties in what you said earlier in political politics and stuff. Yeah. The fact is that when you, when somebody decides to come their way, do it their way, that they will get angry at anybody that wants to do it God's way. Yeah. 